Hi, I'm Shane from Astral Dragon Gaming, and this is a game where I'm going to have a look at Forager. But before I do that, let me have a look at the people that were good enough to be able to let me have access to that. And I'm talking about Humble Bundle, of course. Humble Bundle is that website where you can pay a small amount of money and get a buttload of games. And I have one very important thing, their monthly subscription, which not only gives you access to a list of games that slowly unlock during the month, but also their treasure trove and sometimes some really important exclusives, such as Forager, which is this month's exclusive. And I must thank them. Humble Bundle immensely. They're a great company that gives you the opportunity to do a lot of stuff with your different games and always at a very reasonable price. And on top of that, they also help out charity. And the Trove is a wonderful thing because there are so many DRM free games that you can use and you can play. So I can highly recommend it. If you're interested, please have a look at the link down below and I hope you enjoy my playthrough of Forager. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Shane from Astral Dragon Gaming and this is Forager, a early access demo from Humble Bundle, which is cool. Um, you only get about 10 levels. I'm not going to play a lot of this. It's just more to have a look at it. So anyway, you get to open up items and whatnot. You can get build stuff. We need to build a furnace for which we need 10 stone, which there is plenty of. So let's start hacking the crap out of it. Furnace time! One. Dun, dun, dun. Yay! More stuff. And one more rock. Do, 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 do. There we go. Alright, time to build a forge. Clink, clink. Bum, bum, da, da. One furnace. Hmm. You know, I like it over in that corner though. MySpace. Which no longer exists. Sorry all you people that had MySpace. Oops. Alright, next thing I need to build is a forge and I need coal. For that I need trees. Or real actual coal, but you know, trees work just as good. So yeah, you'll notice that the actual supplies that you need slowly appear on the island. And also the variety of items that appear depend on how many skill points you pour into it. So that's a big thing about this game is skill points it's a very interesting thing as you go from level to level you get more skill points the more skill points you get well you get one skill point per level but the more sort of items you unlock the more things you can do so it's kind of a build-up idealism but I love the style, the graphics, the way the screens kind of sort of shutters and jitters as you're breaking stuff apart and even just how stuff sort of bounces out and hits. Like there you go, the tree just popped out of nowhere. And now I have coal! More coal. Never say no for more coal. Alright, as your energy runs out, you know, it's shit. So, there we go. Some more stuff more energy alright grabbing some gold now I need four bricks by memory check four bricks four bricks for iron alright do I have enough iron no I do not Probably do now, but we'll just grab some more just to be cut over. Just to be on the safe side. That. Yay! Level 2. I love that animation. It's like, level! It's like, whoa! Reminds me of that game, what is it, where you click 
everything in order to gain levels and you have to continually click. I really like that design of sort of achievement for everything that you do. It's like, and it's really not an achievement, it's just progression in the game. It's like, it's funny stuff. Uh, for those that have been watching my channel, you'll notice that the volume and the actual sound of my fabulously Australian accented voice is much different. That is because I've changed over from this microphone to a Yeti microphone. And I have to admit, the big difference is enormous. Like The sound structure is really great so if you're going to get stuff get the right stuff for your right job and i cannot say more praise about the yeti mic it's really really good i was shocked and i'm half deaf so you know i'm half deaf and i can hear the difference between the two quite significantly pretty hungry time to eat more food which I'm running out of. Oh. That's another wonderful thing. Uh, you can build certain things straight off the bat, like fishing. Which I don't have enough berries for. Alright, fine, get more berries. You are exhausted. Now go up in a ball in the fetal position and die. Dee, dee, dee. One, two, three. One, two, build farming, fish stuff. Ah, right. we can now make a forge. One forge, coming right up. And with a forge, you can do more stuff. But anyway, this is the best thing about this, is the skill points. Like, as you unlock different skill points, you can get different things. Get money straight away, unlock steel, glass, unlock cotton. It allows you to find fairies. I think I'll do this one. Because big thing here is storage. And also, I can buy more land now. So, up. So, as you progress, you buy different land plots to add more. And it's a lady that's in a one. She will give me fairies. Fairy godparents. No, just fairies. It's like, awesome. So, talk to the lady. I think it's here, yep. Sweet child. Let my fairies rest your weary body. I need you to ask for a very small donation. I will reward you with power of my fairies. And my light shine on your quest. Yep, you only need to collect a thousand dollars. So, yeah, no pressure there. La da 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 da. More stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Yay! Cold stuff. Sand. Very useful. Alrighty. But yeah, you get quests and all sorts of different things in this game, and it's a really nice, simple game. I hope you like the little playthrough, and if you want to see more of it, please drop me a comment down below. Other than that, hope you're having a fabulous day.